Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In today's video, I will be talking about the import statement and how you can import certain built-in modules and also some user-defined modules in Python. So what is actually the import statement? So the import in Python is similar to the hash include header file in C or C++. Python modules can get access to code from another module by importing the file or function using the import statement. The import statement is the most common way of invoking the import machinery. But it is not the only way. There are many ways in which you can do that. So what it means is if you have a program code, you can use the import statement and then you can import any other codes or modules or methods inside some other modules by using the import statement. So it is a way of getting access to code from another module. So let us now see the types or the ways in which you can import different modules. Here you can see these are the ways to import a module in Python. The first one is by writing the import statement and then followed by the module name. The second one is you have to write the from keyword followed by the module name and then you have to write import and followed by the method or the member name. The third one is you have to write the from keyword followed by the module name and then you can use the import statement followed by this star or the asterisk. What it will do is it will import everything or every method inside that particular module. Let us move on to PyCharm so that I can show you certain examples with the help of programs so that you can understand about importing modules in Python in a very good way. As you can see here, I have this Python file created which is import module. Now here, I will use the import statement or the keyword followed by the module names. We have many popular built-in modules in Python let us look into one of those today. I will import the math module. So this is how you can do it. I am writing import and then math. Now inside the math module, you have many methods or many variables. And in Python, everything is an object, right? So those variables or methods can be termed as objects inside the math class or the math module. Now suppose if I want to print any variable, which is inside the math module, what I can do is I can get an access to it. Suppose you all know the pi, right? The value of pi was something like 3.14 and so on. I Even I don't remember the value. Do you remember it? So let us check what is the actual value of pi. What I can do is I can use the name of the module. Then I can print pi. You can see I have used the dot operator and followed by that, as soon as I write dot, what it does is, you can see here, it tells me all the methods which are present in this math module, out of which I want my pi. So you can see when I write p, it automatically suggests me pi. So here I press enter and you can see when I import only the math module, I have to access everything inside it with the help of the dot operator as you can see here. Then when I type pi, and if I run my program now, you will find that I will get the value of pi. I'm running it for you now. Now you can see this is the entire value of this pi, which is 3.141592 and so on. I don't want to repeat the whole thing for you. So you have got an idea about this, right? So there are many other things inside the math module, which you can access. Now there is one more way, as I told you, to import anything inside the math module. How you can do it is, you have to write from, then the module name, then you have to write the import statement, and then you can use, say, pi. Now what will happen is, you have to only use the name of the variable. See, if I print pi, you can see that this pi has become a method of this program code now. I don't have to use the math.py now. So now if I run it, I will get the earlier answer without doing it. So what happens is in the earlier code, 
module math was imported and its variables were accessed by using the math module name followed by a dot operator then I could access everything. In this case what I did was I used the from statement and then module name and then I used the import statement and followed by this name of the variable. So this is another way of doing it. Now I will show you some other methods which are present in this math module. I will take a variable result equal to then here what can I do is I can take the power which is a method present in this math module. Here it will ask me two parameters. So I will take the first one as 2 and the second one is 3. So what I should get is 2 to the power 3 that is 2 into 2 into 2. The answer is 8. So then I have to print my result. And now if I run my program, you can see I am getting 2 power 3 which is 8. And here I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you the ceiling and the floor method. So what is ceiling actually? C-E-I-L. So here you can see that when I am trying to import seal, it's not getting imported because in my import statement, I have only imported this pi variable. So how can we import everything inside a module? To do that, I have to use this. I will show you, as I already showed you in the picture, I have to use this star. Then you can see this red highlighted thing has gone. And now I can access any method which is present inside this math module. Now if I use seal and then it will ask me one parameter, I will give say 2.3. And now if I print the result, you will see it will round off this decimal value. So when I print this, you should find that ceiling means the top value. So it should be between this. I will show you what actually will happen. It should be between 3 and 2, right? So ceiling means the top value. So 3 will be the top and 2 will be the bottom value. So when I try the seal method and use 2.3, it should print 3 because this is the ceiling value or the top value. I am printing it for you now or running it. You can see the answer is 3. If I give 2.2 also and run it, it will again produce the result 3. But if I don't use seal and if I use floor, you will find the difference now. So floor means the bottom value. So it should print 2 now. I'm running it and you can see the difference. When I use load, it prints 2. So now you can remember that ceiling means the top value. It will be rounding off to the top value and floor means it will be rounding off to the lower value. In this case, if I give 2.9 also, it will floor it to 2. So I will run it again. You can see it's giving me the result, same result which is 2. Now this is a way to import modules in Python. Now it doesn't mean that you have to only import built-in codes or built-in modules. You can also import your own modules. Let me show you how to do that. I will delete all this for you and I will show you here I have created a Python file which is utility and here I have defined certain functions which is you can see area of triangle. It takes two parameters space and height and then it returns the area and it has this surface area which is another function it returns the surface area of the cube which is 6 into l square as you can see here i have returned this directly here we also have this method which is volume of cube we have area of square and we have area of rectangle now how do we import this utility module into a new module here I will go to this python file which was earlier full and I deleted everything. Now I will try to import this utility. You can see I import utility. It's getting highlighted and then when I want to use anything I have to give utility then the dot operator. 
and you can see I'm getting this suggestions area of rectangle area of square area of cube volume of cube area of triangle surface area so whatever functions I had in that utility module are getting highlighted or suggested here so this is one way the other way is this one I can use import utility as say util suppose if you don't want to type this lengthy word which is seven letters long right so you can import it as a short form util now i can access this as it is by writing util and if i press dot you can see i am again getting all the suggestions of the functions which are available in my utility module so you can do it this way as well now let me show you the other two ways also you can write from utility import anyone if you say a then you can see i am getting area of rectangle area of square area of triangle surface area and all and if i say volume say small v then i am getting this volume but if i want to import everything i can use this star then i will get access to everything now every function can be directly accessed i don't have to use the dot operator now i will take a variable result and then i will use my functions from the utility module say i take area of rectangle as we all know area of a rectangle is length into breadth as you can see here it is asking me for the length and breadth parameters or arguments i will give say 5 comma 7 and we know that the area will be length into breadth which is 5 7 is a 35 now if i print my result you can see that it will print 35 i have to run it for you now i'm running it you find that the result in the console is 35 so this is how you can import built-in modules where you have certain functions you have defined by yourself those functions will be called the user defined functions and you can access those codes and manipulate them or change them as per your requirement so this is about the import statement and how you can import modules in python it can be either a built-in module or it can be a user defined module as i showed you in this utility module all this so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel codus arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video thank you happy learning